Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back and it is time for another StarCraft 2 ProBots cast. Uh, we have got ourselves two AI boys going to be duking it out here. In the top right hand side of the map, it is Tier P. Tier Protoss, I assume that means. And in the bottom left, we have got none other than the Ketrock bot. Ketrock bot, much like the man himself. So, we're going to be seeing how well do these two bots face up against each other. We're on the map Pillars of Gold. Uh, so, some of the Pillars of Gold going to be one of the new maps that these. Uh, that these competitors are entering their bots on. And so, yeah, we've got ourselves just another good old bot versus bot match, Protoss versus Terran. I believe I have casted Tier before. I've definitely casted Ketrock's bot before, uh, who I'm surely going to call Ketrock by mistake, not Ketrock bot, because he's he's got his bot just under the ID Ketrock, so it's easy to make the mistake. But, yeah, anyway, uh, Tier, I think, is a... Uh, is an interesting bot. I think, from what I've seen, fairly, uh, fairly standard for the most part. I think made some aggressive plays in the. P I want to say I'm. I'm trying to. I'm trying to dig back a little bit. It's been a while since I did regular videos, guys. And I gotta say, at first I was like, oh yeah, downtime. Downtime is great, taking some time away from casting. But I gotta say, I've missed it, and that's why I'm uh, casting this right now. Maybe when I shouldn't be, but I was like, you know what? I gotta sit down and cast some StarCraft. I just gotta do it. Anyway, like I said, uh, these uh, tier playing pretty straight up, going just for a Cybercore into Nexus Six Man. Ketrock though, gonna be doing just Ketrock things. Going for the eBay, which surely means that the natural base is going to be a planetary fortress. The main base, I don't believe, will be. However, you never know. And yeah, so we've got Tier playing versus Ketrox Bot. If we opened up the chat log, we would have seen that Ketrox Bot was updated January 15th. So this is an older iteration of the bot. I'm not sure if he's released anything newer since, or maybe is saving it for for uh, AI tournaments. However, yeah. I think uh, I think it's going to be a good match between these two. At some point, other programmers, such as the programmer of Tears Bot, have got to be looking at Ketrock's bot and being like, "Is there a way that I can design my bot to hard counter this?" Uh, because teaching it the fundamentals of how to play against sort of Ketrock's turtley bot style isn't going to be an easy thing. So yeah, let's just uh, take a look here. As we check on out the fact that there is a planetary fortress now on the way for Ketrox bot at the natural. And so ladies and gentlemen, as per usual, I'm going to go ahead and say hit that like button. If we've got about 25 workers on each side, if we can hit 50 likes on this video on uh, on the first Probots cast in a while, that would be amazing and would show me that you guys really do want me to keep doing these videos. And of course, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell icon, join the bell gang, and get notified whenever I put up a new video or a live stream. I do plan on streaming again soon. But and enough about that. We're here to talk about these body boys. Ketrox bot, interestingly enough, is making a decent marine count. I wonder why that is. Is that just so that it's got some anti-air in case there's like an oracle or something like that, or a void ray? And that's justification for skipping a cyclone and just going right into a siege tank? Presumably so. Anyway, we do see Tears Bot actually just going hard into Immortals right out the gate, which I do like. And this makes me wonder, is this like a Ketrock Bot specialty sort of thing? Uh, just basically just say, alright, my bot's playing against Ketrock. He's gonna turtle up and make planetaries and tanks, so Immortals are gonna be a good choice. Although not notably, uh, not notably as good as they used to be. Immortals a little bit more susceptible to tanks than they used to be. Uh, well, I say say that like it's a recent change. No, it's been about six years that Immortals have been much worse against tanks. Uh, anyway, we do now see Ketrox Bot throwing up those double Stargates, which is pretty darn normal. Uh, making that triple Stargates for Ketrox Bot. And then just, yeah, tank chilling at the natural. Probably going to start throwing up turrets at some point. As, uh, of course, you gotta have your anti-air coverage, or maybe it'll just go right into Vikings. I am a little bit curious about that. But, uh, yeah. Let's take a look here. Siege tank. 
now going to be popping on out here for Ketrox spot. So just really locking down that planetary fortress. A fairly straightforward defensive strategy. Just have the PF, a couple tanks to cover it. Really anything that tries to crack this. Unless it's a very decisive attack, we'll just lose out. And then, uh, of course, uh, that that's not an easy thing to program an AI to defeat to defeat a planetary fortress with two siege tanks guarding it. Then Banshees are now on the way for Ketrox spot. Tyr is just staying back at home for the most part. Now I'm going to be throwing up a third Nexus, still producing Stalkers, Immortals, getting out an Observer. I wonder, is Tyr just going to aim for like, uh, maybe like eight minish it time, eight minish, minute, minish? Where did minish come from? I don't know, but is Tyr going to aim for like an eight minute counterattack? Ketrox bot going to be producing Banshees. Of course, we'll have to see how well Tyr is going to react to that. Uh, whether there'll be cannons or things like that, you never know. As, uh, once again, dealing with something that's cloaked, that moves around rapidly, not going to be easy to handle as well. Okay, Observer on the way for Tyr. And gosh, I... I don't know if me watching these bots is a good thing, because all this makes me want to do is is learn how to program a bot. Uh, sadly, I did have to drop my one uh, one computer science class. I'll, I'll definitely pick that up again. Uh, may, maybe next semester, though. We'll see. Guardian Shield is going to be used by these stalkers. Push away that Banshee. So good reaction by Tyr initially. Now Banshees have been spotted. These two bots notably not doing a ton of scouting. There's the cloak from Ketrox bot. Now going to be working away on these probes. And what does Tyr have for detection? This one observer is coming back. There, That's just it though. It's just one observer for Tyr's bot. And so Ketrox Banshees really are going to be able to have free reign. One has already started hitting the natural. There's going to be one moving towards the third. No cannons are on the way for Tyr. An extra observer is, but oh man, these Banshees really given the Protoss agent a hard time. Uh, yeah. Look at this. Just the Banshee just going to town. Microing doesn't necessarily need to, but it doesn't hurt when you're a bot with unlimited APM. So Ketrox bot able to kill off a good number of probes. 15 already make that number's going to go up as the second Banshee goes to work. Observers are now out. However, that doesn't mean these Banshees are necessarily going to be dealt with completely easily. Catrox bot going to be doing that thing which it glitches out the Banshee boosters because it's microing them too quick, so uh, it just really likes to drop my frame rate by doing that. Thanks, Catrox bot. But still, this is looking really painful for Tyr as Tyr's being knocked down to, what, 39 workers? That's not good, and this isn't going to be the end of Viking now moving in. Uh, kind of just chilling here. I wonder what that Viking is going to gonna do besides just die. Tyr's now gonna be making Banshees, or Phoenix, pardon me, as a counter to this. There's a cannon going up, whoever the cannon gets picked off. A couple Banshees are getting killed off, but still, I see no way that this is necessarily gonna go right for Tyr's for Tyr P, as uh, these Banshees are just giving it the runaround. I don't really see a counterattack working out. Once again, these planetaries and siege tanks against stalkers that don't have blink. Although there is five Immortals, maybe an attack could work. I'm, I'm not too sure about that, though. And so I really am quite worried for Tyr. It looks like the Phoenix will really help shut this down. The Observer is trailing this Banshee, too, so it will be cleaned up. So the Phoenix play to deal with the Banshees does seem to be uh, does seem to be very intentional by Tyr. Once again, I wonder if this is sort of hard, hard, hard counter mentality. Uh... Yeah, let's take a look here. Building armor on the way for Ketrock, just locking down these tanks, getting up the extra orbital command, or extra command center. Presumably going to be an orbital command in the main base. Then just securing up all these extra locations. Yeah, Ketrock spot sort of just harasses, fans out, locks down this location. The Banshees, though, are starting to go down to the Phoenix quicker and quicker as Tears starting to rebuild now, get that probe count back up. And I wonder, is Tyr just going to go for an attack at some point? Hmm. It, it's hard to know. It's hard to know. <laughs> uh, right now, what I'm thinking of as I watch this is seeing that Tyr's got a ton of stalkers, no blink, however. I wonder if it would be worth, like, if you are going to have a bot that does make so many stalkers, to program behavior in a sense to go for the YOLO blinks, like to blink on top of a planetary with siege tanks. 
because not blinking on top of it will definitely make your losses work if Tyr does eventually attack. And so I am curious about that. Of course, then there's also the question of, are the Phoenix going to be lifting up things like siege tanks if Tyr does go for an attack? And all of a sudden, realizing that the Phoenix could be part of an attack, this could be very intentional by Tyr just as a way to break Ketrok Spot's defenses. I also want to say it's notable that Ketrok Spot hasn't built really any missile turrets, literally none. And I think in the past watching it, it did. So I wonder what the trigger is. Do Phoenix not trigger Ketrok Spot to make turrets? Or is it like that an SCV or something has to die to an air unit before Ketrok Spot will do something about it? But there we go. Ta tanks now being lifted up. SCVs are repairing them, but of course that means the tanks really aren't in the equation. One of them does land, however it gets picked off. In goes all the stalkers for tier. Now gonna just be c killing this planetary fortress like it's nothing. The Phoenix with the ground army for the Protoss just completely wrecked Ketrok's defenses. And all of a sudden, what seemed to be just an incredibly strong defensive strategy has been dealt with by a bot that uh, seems to be programmed to deal with this. I mean, Tyr Stalker's walking in, gonna just annihilate that planetary like it's nothing. The Five Immortals putting out so much damage. Uh, yeah, really cool to see Tyr's bot not doing that sort of thing that we sometimes see AI or see bots do, which is basically sort of attack and say, oh no, there's a base there, I can't attack, and then waddle out and just take losses. No, Tyr's bot being really decisive right now, just wandering up into Ketrok's bot's main. And all of a sudden, yeah, the sort of linchpin that Ketrox bot strategy relied on, which is unkillable planetaries, is now non-existent. So the main's been compromised. All the production's been compromised. Ketrox bot is in a lot of trouble. There's a Banshee counterattacking. Tyr does have a couple of stalkers back at home warping in to try and deal with this. Uh, and yeah, the main base of Ketrox bot is just gone. The supply has been tanked, and I'm honestly unsure of what... Uh, what should be done by by Ketrox bot like this is this is a really interesting development I've never seen Ketrox bot I think be wrecked like this in a sense and it makes me wonder a little bit like what what what's Ketrox gonna have to do to program into his bot's behavior to deal with this and I'm excited by this because it kind of shows that there is weaknesses in this in this bot as uh, as we watch all these planetaries and command centers sort of just dance around, unsure of what to do, and the weakness is that yeah, that uh, that defensive strategy that basically crippled a lot of bots seems not to be an issue for Tier, and yeah, I I definitely think that the developer of Tier's bot must have must have programmed this as a way just to he must have studied Ketrox bot, thinking of all right, how can I beat this. And all of a sudden, he, uh, well, he came up with an answer. And so Ketrok, of course, is going to have to go back to the drawing board. Who knows? This is an older version of his bot. Maybe he's got something completely different planned if he has updated his agent. As, uh, yeah. Hmm. Well done by, well done by Tyr, who I think has got this game undoubtedly. I mean, we'll fast forward a little bit here. Uh, yeah, just hunting down all the buildings. Ketrok bot does have these outposts, but... Once a bot reaches the point which it like loses its main base, there's usually not the behavior in order to in order to stay alive. Like Ketrox spots like, oh yeah, I just lost a bunch of SCVs, gonna keep rebuilding those, like everything's fine. Uh, in reality I think think it's just gonna be a matter of cat and mouse, hunt down, kill all the bases, and Tears Tear is definitely not dilly dallying with that. So yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button as we see Tyr just casually expanding, throwing up a ton of gateways, keeping the upgrades going, even going for Tempest while this is going on. I wonder what the trigger for the Tempest is in Tyr's bot. But yeah, awesome to see uh, awesome to see the arms race of 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 bots continually continually developing. And uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Let me know if you want to see more bots. Uh, and leave a leave a comment, of course, for for the bot, the algorithm that uh, determine what gets watched on YouTube. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for tuning on in.